Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Right. I've been meaning to do this for ages to be fair. But this is technically what I order every day. Well, not every day. Every day. This is what I order on like a monthly-ish basis from EHP Labs. So I get a lot of people say, oh, I'll actually take this every day, check that every day. Um, so I'm gonna run through everything I get. Um, so, well, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with blessed vanilla chai flavored vegan protein. I use that to mix with like my yogurt that I have in the morning. I'll show you everything I eat today and then I'll go through what I put in, obviously, what food, strawberry milk. I have that, I have like a, um, is that gonna focus? Get involved, Jesus. Um, yeah, I put this in, like I have a, I have a protein like smoothie between lunch and dinner, normally like pre-workout meal. And then one, two, three, Oxy Shred, the best selling fat burner on the market. I've gone with, is he gonna pick up that? Yeah, kiwi strawberry flavor. Cosmic Blast. Cosmic Blast is the best way to. I've got two types of that because it's the best. But um, Cosmic Blast is probably the best way to describe it. Is it tastes like uh, strawberry chew it if you live in the UK or anyone that lives outside the UK. Strawberry Starburst. That's the best way to describe that. Kiwi Strawberry BCA. I have that with my workout. I mix that with. The glutamine, are you going to focus? Yeah. And obviously the creatine as well. I'm hoping you can see that as a bit of a glare because it's so so glossy these things. So yeah, creatine, glutamine with BCAA. I have in my water, I sit back throughout my workout. And then uh, raspberry refresh. You have to check out the flavours because honestly some of the flavours in the got are insane. Um, this one's not for the faint hearted. This is Oxy Shred Hardcore. This is a new flavour, lemon sherbet, so I can't wait to try that. That's going to be insane. Um, that one's just kind of like double the dosage of the normal one. So sometimes if I'm doing like a long, fasted cardio, if I wake up in the morning, I've got to do... So on my training program at the moment, I've got sprints to do and I've got cycling sprints. So do two different variations of sprints. If I do them fasted, I know I'm going to need that extra energy, so I normally do the Oxy Shred Hardcore. Um, fasted, have that first thing when I wake up, stretch and get on with it. Um, and then, new flavour for me, they have this in uh, Raspberry Twizzle for Shizzle, uh, Sour Apple, and uh, this one is Blue Slushy. This is Pride, their signature workout, pre-workout. This The best thing about this, this is, yeah, Anyone that knows me knows I love a pre-workout, but this pre-workout has everything. It's got 1,650 milligrams of nootropics. It's got pump ingredients with L-citrulline and nitrosine. It's got a thing called pentaphene, which is a five-stage caffeine release. So not like a lot of pre-workouts. You don't just get that huge rush and then that, obviously that crash. Or you get that tingly feeling or itchy. I've had so many things. I think it's ABE I had before. It made my skin itch. Like That's not for me. This is so smooth so long lasting as well. So when I was training for my marathon, a lot of people were like, oh my God, you take pre-workout when you go on your like, long, distance, long distance runs. This is why, because it's got a five stage caffeine release, like you consistently got a nice gradual energy. Um, it's got EAAs in it as well, 5,000 milligrams, so perfect for recovery. This is like the bread and butter to my workouts, honestly, don't know what I'll do about that. Hence why I've got two tubs, um, because I, a lot of people say I'll taper off pre-workouts and things like that, like I have a day off in the week, I play football on a Sunday, so I'll have two days off a week where I don't take it, so every other day I take it. Don't think I'll ever change that to be honest. Um, so these are all the products, let me check this box out. Let me see if I can line these up so you can see everything quickly. But yeah, this is what I kind of have on like a monthly basis from the three labs. Um, I'll put all the links and discount codes in my in the description. So if you want to get yourself any, honestly, give them a try. Um, to be fair, for all my boys at the gym, I'd give them this anyway um, to try. And loads of people, even some people that I gave a sample of pre-workout to, were like, oh my god, where do I get that pre-workout? Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth getting. Um, definitely worth trying. Even if like you're just carrying a bit of extra Christmas weight, I'm sure Oxy Shred 
can literally get rid of that because that's all I've stuck to since. So let me get this camera. Hang on. So this is everything that I have. So starting with the glutamine, creatine, boxy shred in three different flavours, the blessed protein, two types of pride, two types of beyond just to mix up the flavours of when I'm working out. Is that going to focus? Yeah. And then the oxy shred, hardcore there as well. So any of the EHP Labs products, if you want to get involved, just I'll drop a link in the description, use my code, get yourself a decent discount. And then what we'll do now is I'm going to run you through everything I eat uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, just so that you guys can see what I'm eating and we can have a look at my macros for the day, my training split, I'll go through everything. So I'll just pop that there. Also, on another note, Jesus. I'm scared that stand's gonna break one day. Um, another delivery that I didn't know was actually coming today, so that's come quick, is a decent little delivery from my boy Ty, who's got a little morning caffeine hit, uh, a little supplement, which is a multivitamin, which literally is this here called Multivit. Definitely go and check that out, it's insane. Um, I'm gonna do a little story about it anyway, um, just because I've been using this now for quite a while. It's easy to get, like, I'm one person like, not that I don't like taking tablets, it's just like, I always end up forgetting. Because um, I don't like taking them on an empty stomach, so then like, by the time I've eaten, I've got on with my day, I'm like, oh, I should've taken my tablet, shit. But um, I've got two flavors of orange and passion fruit and two flavours of the pink grapefruit. I'll also drop a link in there for anyone that likes a little, it just stops me from drinking coffee, like I don't drink coffee anymore, I'll just have these. Um, don't have to buy multivitamins because I've got these. Obviously oxy shred I use when I'm doing my workouts every morning. So like I do my sprints t twice a week and then I'll do one run once a week. So that time I'll use oxy shred but every other day I'm using this. Or even if I just feel a bit tired throughout the day I'll have one of these tablets, so yeah man, I'll show you what I'm getting into for my first meal and I'll drop all the links for all the products that I'm using at the moment in the description, so stay tuned, we're going to get this first meal on. Alright, let's get the first meal breakfast underway, but first, what I was talking about earlier, this little bad boy here, motive it, so good, also when I was talking to Ty, when you mix the orange and passion fruit with the pink grapefruit, it tastes like a um, Fanta fruit twist. Insane. But anyway. Berries. First meal of the day. Probably my favourite to be fair. Um, right, what it's going to be, I'll just run you for it. Oh, I don't even know if I have got almonds. Shit. Nah, I think I do. But what the first meal is. Right, so the f first thing I'm going to start with. 175 grams of yogurts, blueberries, strawberries, almonds, vanilla, weigh it all, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So that is that done, that is the first meal. I'll put the macros on the screen somewhere here. So I'm gonna have this now, and then probably sit down, read, watch some YouTube, catch up on some work emails, anything like that, and then I'll get into the second meal that I have, probably just around, I don't know when I have it normally, just between like breakfast and lunch, it's like a little, mid-morning snack so um, I'll get into that next but yeah Ooh check it out it's actually banging honestly Let's go. Right, so are you good? 
No, it is. See, knows I'm making food, so instantly wants some food. But that's it. Meal number two is easy. Um, this is just like my pre pre lunch snack. I buy this just because it's easy convenience, which is just some barbecue chicken and, then, and one pitter. So I'll put the macros up on the screen. I just normally weigh out 150 grams of chicken breast, toast that pitter. You can put it under the grill if you want. It doesn't really make so much of a difference. But every time I cook, she comes around because she's sitting down. She thinks she's getting some. Look, bless her. Come on. Oh, too much. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, I'll make this. It's pretty easy to be fair. Just bang that in the microwave. Toast the pitter. Away you go. I'm not gonna show you me cooking my lunch prep. What I'll do is I'll just make it all, put it in the containers, and then I'll show you what I have for lunch. I normally make like three days in advance. I try not to do like any more than that because the chicken tends to dry out after that. If you start reheating chicken after like three days, it's not, like it's still edible obviously, but it's just not as nice. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I've got, I'll crack on when it's done, I'll come back and show you. Yes, yes, we are done. Ooh. So yeah, technically this one, didn't have enough chicken, so 42 grams just right on the top. So by the time I've obviously finished these three, I'll do more meal prep and then I'll just add the remaining to that. I'll put all the macros on screen. Look at it. Cool. So yeah, anyway, I'll put the macros on screen, crack on with this, and then I'll show you the next meal that I have before I go to my workout or football, which is like a protein smoothie. So, yeah. Right, so I'm literally just walked in the door from playing football. And the last meal I'll have is very similar to the meal that I had um, between breakfast and lunch. Is I'll have another 150 grams of chicken breast with one pitter. Literally as easy as it comes. So this is like my post dinner meal. Sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll have what I have for lunch for dinner and then have my lunch as this last meal, uh, depending on how I'm training and what I'm doing, but I'd rather have a bigger meal before going to football and then something something light afterwards. Um, so I'm gonna make this now, and then after that, let me just double check. Yeah, and then after that, what I do is I save, technically there should be a meal between lunchtime and dinner, but I like to save this for after dinner because I get a bit of a sweet tooth coming up like late at night, so. What I have after that is one and a half scoops of protein and then frozen berries and I mix it with 200 ml of whatever milk anyone prefers. I have it with almond milk, um, almond milk, whatever you say it. So yeah, I mix it up. That's probably the, the most exciting part of my day, that, that smoothie at the end. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make this. Uh, nothing really to show you. I could show you exactly like what it looks like, but everyone knows what chicken and pita looks like. It's not really anything mind blowing. Um, but I'll show the smoothie at the end because the smoothie's banging. So yeah, leave it with me and I'll, I'll check in on my sweet treat at the end of the night. So the last meal I have for the day, if that don't fall over, fingers crossed. Why does it look so dark? Anyway, last meal after the day, scoop and a half of protein. I'm using blessed vanilla chai. And then almond milk. Don't have enough shot. Bring that in there, and then I've got a nice amount of it. The best part. Right, let me just always make a mess when I'm making food. Oh. 
Oh, I poor bear in this. Let's see if I can scoop some out. This could be a bit too thick, but no complaints. No, I'm joking. Right, I'm gonna blend this because there's no point you guys listening to the noise of a blender. It's pretty pointless in it, really. So, right, looks like that. Gonna blend it up and I'll show you the texture at the end. Hey, right. Like, what? Look at the texture on that. Oh my god. That is insane. Like, what? Anyway, actually, I've got to do a taste test and not really. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I'll put all the macros for the whole day in the video here. And then following next week, I'm going to do all my training split and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll stay tuned for the next one. Like, comment and subscribe. See you in a bit.